Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. This video is, I'm gonna call this my all-in-one video. It is going to be a little bit of clean with me, a mini shopping haul, decorate with me, and of course, I'm gonna show you that final reveal at the end. I wanna take this opportunity to say thank you to all of my subscribers. To those who have recently subscribed, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you very much for joining the kingdom that is Freddie King's Home Decor Team. If you are not a subscriber and you've just dropped by to watch this content or came across this video, I thank you as well. I hope you too will consider hitting that subscribe button, click your notification bell, and do click it twice so you too will be notified of all future video uploads from me. On my channel, I talk about home decor designs and tips. I do some vlogging, I do product reviews, but more importantly, I talk and teach what I'll call the color palette series. The color palette series teaches you how to use your base or fixed colors the things that will not change, the color of your floor, the paint on the wall, the furniture, the things that are usually the same from design to design. You then add your accent colors, whatever decor color you've chosen, and I show you how you bring all of that together for a cohesive palette, ceiling to floor, and floor to ceiling. As you can see, I've already started the clean with me part. This video is gonna showcase my coffee bar and how I'll decorate that just for this winter season. I'm gonna use some typical accent colors. I'm gonna use gray, I'm going to use green, and with the base color being white, that is the fixed color or the coffee bar itself, I'm just gonna add pops of color here and there to bring this cohesive palette together. I'm gonna go ahead and play music. I'll come back with you when we get to the shopping haul portion. Please continue watching. So I'm now at the mini shopping haul portion. These items I purchased from Home Goods. What I'm showing you first is this tray, distressed looking tray, uh, and the price of it is $19.99. They had one that was smaller and one larger. I'm pointing to the black handle to specifically point out that the black handle is going to pick up the black color of the coffee pot machine itself. These are coasters. They have the same look to them. They were not paired together in the store, but now I'm showing you how via the color palette series, you can pair your items as long as you stay in the family of. And you see that the coasters, they too have the whitewash or distressed look. This is a Lazy Susan. You can see that it's $29.99. The reason why I picked this out is because the coffee bar is adjacent to the rest of the kitchen, obviously, and the Lazy Susan is going to bring that look and that color over to the island. The distressed look of these items also pull out or coordinate with the base color, which is white. 
I'm now showing you a mason jar. Uh, I'm going to put breakfast cookies or snacks. And as you can see, I'm just opening and closing it to show you that it is uh, sealed tight. So whatever I put in there will stay fresh. I picked up two of these in my hands now is the smaller one. This one is $6.99 as you can see. And the larger one, I believe, let me check. The larger one was $9.99. Moving right along, here are the breakfast cookies and just nuts, small assortment of uh, nuts in the miniature packs. Next, I also purchased a new utensil container. This is gonna go over closer to the stove. You can see the pattern, so I like that it has the miniature bubbles all around it. And on the front, it simply says utensils. So I put that away until I get to decorating the kitchen. And then I wanted a no another spoon rest. This one is much bigger for the oversized spoons. I'm not sure why I'm tapping it, but normally when I do videos where I'm not doing the voiceover, I always tap it, uh, especially wood products for you to see and hear the quality. But of course, with this one, um, you obviously would see that it is quality. What I'm doing now is looking for a specific vase that I knew that I know I have in order to integrate it into the design. Can't remember where this one came from. I believe it was Kirkland's, but don't quote me on that. But I'm just integrating some new items with some older items that I had in order to bring this color palette together. Now that I've had all of these items on top of the countertop, let me go ahead and just wipe it down once more in the clean with me process before I start the actual decorating. Again, I wanna say thank you to all who have subscribed to my channel. Please continue watching this video. And now I'm going to transition to decorate with me. Please enjoy the video. Keep watching. As you can see, I'm near the end of the decorate with me process. Big reveal is up next.
again for watching. To all my subscribers, please leave me a comment and click the like button. If you are not a subscriber, please click the subscribe, click your notification bell so you too can be notified of future video uploads from me. This is Freddie, Freddie King's Home Decor, and I'll see you in the next one. Join me so you too can make home your happy place. Bye-bye.